Hello everybody, this is the Southern Hellenist. I am back with another video. So I hope all of you had a really wonderful um, September. Today's October 1st, so it's time for a video. So in today's video, I, I told you guys um, I, yeah, last week that I was going to do a series of videos about Roman religion and about how to get started and so this video is basically going to be basically about how to get started in roman religion if you are interested in this sort of thing just the same, just the same thing as i would say well hey i'm going to do a video on how to get started in hellenic religion so today we're going to focus on roman religion now roman religion evolved over a very long period of time and one of the things that you'll notice in people who practice a form of Roman religion is they have what is known as a Lalaram. Now I'm not going to talk about what a Lalaram is because I'm just talking about how to get started in Roman religion. The next video I will do probably probably next week will be about the Lalaram. So, Roman religion evolved over a very long period of time. And there was, you know, there was, uh, you know, uh, uh, mystery cults and there, you know, you had to be initiated into it. And there was, of course, household religion. And, of course, there was the emperors along with, of course, the uh, gods the gods and spirits and ancestors and things like that. So when we talk about Roman religion, we talk, we really kind of say, okay, are you talking about the beginning of Roman religion? Are you talking about the, uh, the, um, the Republic? Or are you talking about the time when it was, um, uh, not a Republic? I'm, it's like 11.08 at night, and I'm tired, and so you're kind of like, okay, yeah, all right. Um, so, when we talk about Roman religion, um, the, uh, the most important part of it is to buy the books. To, and I'm going to tell you something, Roman, Roman religion, now... I'm going to go off a little bit by saying this. There are several groups on Facebook. If you're interested in talking to people who have been practicing Roman religion for a good period of time. Um, and then, of course, there's organizations that you can, um, you can um, contact via Facebook that will actually like give you a link to their website. And there is a temple of in I believe the Ukraine I'm not exactly sure but they're over there in Europe that you can actually uh, write actually type your prayer and they will actually write it and it amazes me of how well they can actually re write in English which is great to, it's really great to see your prayer on their website which is really cool which is the thing that got me to do it over and over again was see my prayer you know, in there. And they do offerings and stuff like that uh, for the gods. And, and they're really great if you don't have, like, okay, for instance, if you're living with your parents and you would like you would like them to do sacrifices for a particular deity and, you know, you don't have an altar or anything or a shrine, it's, it's really great. So, yeah, it's, it's great they have that service available, especially if you're you know, undercover. So, the first step in learning about Roman religion and learning how to practice Roman religion is, of course, the books. Also, you can get hold, you can also join a number of different Facebook groups like Roman Reformism, which uh, has a lot of really great members in there that will answer any questions you have about Roman religion. Um, you have cultist decorum who will also answer any questions you have about Roman religion. And so once you buy the books and you've read it and you come to the determination this is something you want to practice, um, 
then what you do is you set up your Lalorum, which as I said, I will do a video about that. So um, it all depends. If you're not really a fan of statues, you can have something that represents, um, you know, the spirits that, you know, Romans believed lived in the streams and the trees and everything like that, which is why they were really good at destroying people's groves because they probably had sacred groves um, at the beginning, so they knew how important this was. Don't be turned off by some of the things like slavery and women being degraded because that was the past and we don't bring that into the here and now. It doesn't matter if you're practicing Roman religion or Hellenism or Kemeticism or whatever. We as a modern day society does not practice those things. But it's interesting to understand those practices that way you can get a general idea of where everything went wrong. Um, so yes, so, you know, and then once you set up your Lalarum and everything, then, you know, you go and you do daily offerings and stuff like that and all that. So um, I hope that this has helped uh, someone out who might be interested in Roman religion. I will be doing these videos uh, once a week generally on the day I have it off, or if I have a couple minutes, you know, I'll do a video and upload it and all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys learned something from it. Um, and until next time, may you be happy, healthy, most importantly, be safe and hail to the gods. Bye.